today i am going to discuss with you the key symptoms that will help you to identify causticum in your clinic what is most important in homeopathic materia medica is to identify those symptoms that we regularly see in the clinic of a remedy not which are given in the repertory as a three marks two marks one marks or not which are highlighted in the textbook of materia medica because many times these symptoms you cannot see in your practice you cannot confirm in your practice and hence you have to learn from a very experienced homeopath what symptoms he frequently confirms of the remedy these are the key symptoms today i'll take an example of causticum the most important thing is that causticum patient will usually come to your clinic with either neurological complaints respiratory complaints or urological complaints these are the main areas where they will come with usually the constitution will be more, more or less scrofulous scrofulous means enlargement of the gland easy enlargement of the gland glandular type and these kinds of glandular constitution you will see more around the neck external throat chiefly affecting the eyes ears and scalp patients are usually having a dark complexion not a very fair one as contrast to phosphorus and this dark complexion you will identify more in a pediatric age group more than the adults emaciation is marked on the face that's very very important but the abdomen is enlarged and large abdomen with thin legs should make you think of calcarea fos but a large abdomen with semi dropsical legs you one should think of lycopodium children and adults both are awkward especially when they are walking so they have a tendency to stumble they stumble very frequently at the same time children are late in walking as well as talking they can't take any type of stress slightest stress and they start worrying and they think 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 or they start weeping causticum people even though they look strong but many times they are weak in handling the stress also whenever they are under stress whenever they are nervous whenever they are excited they start stammering so somebody who is arguing with you somebody who is very nervous somebody who is very excitable and suddenly in that mood start stammering think of causticum sometimes while talking just giving symptoms in the clinic to the physician or sometimes in excitement or sometimes in nervousness they can start biting the cheeks very similar to ignatia the life is full of suffering but they don't complain much that's important so they don't want to trouble the physician with the sad story it's not that they are very reserved and they want to hide but sometimes they feel little sympathetic towards the physician and may not reveal all their suffering or even if they reveal they say it's not too much in whatever profession the causticum patient may be be it a lawyer be it a teacher be it a doctor be it an engineer they are very idealistic and honest 
only in a very very extreme cases they can become quarrelsome and that too without anger like dalka mara otherwise causticum in general are not a very aggressive personality that tolerance limit is very very strong like lycopodium causticum has a wrinkle forehead like heliborus like lycopodium and the right tragus is always very tender to touch that's the identifying features sometimes the right tragus becomes tender weeks before the right sided facial paralysis has to occur so one has to be very careful this is a very important hint causticum is extremely useful for eruptions that occur inside and outside the nasal wing that's very important the sides of the tongue is white but the center has a right stripe now this is a very rare term most of the time when you examine somebody's tongue the sides will be clean and clear but in causticum they are coated white so that's very important and the center has got a red strip very similar to veratrum virid while walking while talking while sitting they usually try to lean on their right side that's very important it's an involuntary movement they don't even recognize that but this is very important to understand when you examine the genitals the male genitalia you will see excessive secretion of smegma this i see a lot in children whenever they have undergone delivery the woman will always develop some bladder problem either retention unable to pass urine dysuria in fact after any lumbar surgery litho tommy lithotripsy labor forcep cesarean if bladder is giving problem post surgery think of causticum few doses of causticum will remove the symptom instantaneously so quick is the action of causticum in such situation with every call hostess comes like a rocket speed any call you develop you develop immediate hostness especially in old people who suffer from bronchitis the first symptoms that they will suffer from is hostness and that is laryngitis while coughing they need to hold their chest like rumex like drosera like bryonia like calica they need to hold the chest the cough is usually dry but with every cough the urine spurts <clears throat> they have a very unique symptom many patients may not tell you but few will tell you pain in the left hip joint while coughing it's a very very unique symptom but in majority of the cases where you will verify causticum is better by drinking cold water better by drinking cold water in cough in throat problem is also phytolaca remember that ha huh? that's very important to remember in pediatric age group when the child coughs the child will rub the eyes and rub the face that's very important with the fist it's a specific remedy for carpal tunnel syndrome and ductrian's contracture very few remedies in homeopathy are there for carpal tunnel syndrome another important remedy is lachesis but what i have found is that even ductrian contractures can be covered with causticum another important remedy for ductrian contracture is thiocinamium when person descends the staircase they usually have severe joint pains and 
especially the joint pain is in the knee knee always hurts from walking from motion and from exertion the stools of the costicum are very greasy and fatty they are prone to warts the characteristic is that they have a warts on either the tip of the finger or very close to the nails over here you can see or margins of the eyelids these are the areas of the wart of costicum and cicatrices are extremely sensitive to touch especially cicatrices which are post burns one of the best remedy in homeopathy <coughs> for post burn cicatrices another very unique concomitant that i have seen in costicum children and adults is yawning yawning with many gi tract complaints yawning with many abdominal complaints like appendicitis diarrhea colitis hepatitis or just flatulent colic it is one of the best remedy for restless leg syndrome modern medicine has nothing to contribute for that especially during sleep restless leg syndrome it is a specific remedy for degeneration of the muscles characterized by muscular atrophy or dystrophy like plumbum metallicum most of the confirmations that i have done for costicum comes from two main sources where hanemann has described costicum one is mmp materia medica pura and one is cd that is chronic disease costicum according to me has a specific action on medulla oblongata and recurrent laryngeal nerve these are the two areas in the body which are very sensitive to action of costicum in gynecology menses usually come in the day time and hence women who are costicum and are menstruating can never enjoy a matinee show because the menses comes in the day time bed wetting is always in the first part of the sleep we talk a lot about paralysis of costicum but the characteristic is dry cold weather drier the weather more the paralysis but it should be dry cold and the dry cold is a winter so winter paralysis ellen says when aconite fails in paralysis think of costicum because ellen is also a victim of uh, because aconite is also a victim of dry cold weather when small remedies like squilla fail for involuntary urination while coughing or sneezing ellen says think of costicum when constitutional remedies like natremure fails for bed wetting and for stress incontinence think of costicum now one thing is very important as costicum as menses in the morning macab as menses in the evening so woman during menstruation who is a macab woman cannot see the night show there is a sense of rawness and soreness behind the sternum in costicum so many cases of cancer of the bronchus tuberculosis chronic bronchitis copd these patients have got the typical rawness and soreness just behind the sternum here you will see phosphorus coming very close to costicum phosphorus is worse evening costicum is worse morning phosphorus is worse cold drinks costicum is better by cold drinks so that is very important getting warm always aggravates phosphorus person getting warm never aggravates costicum patient but remember the type of hoarseness that i was discussing with bronchitis 
there is one more remedy in homeopathy that resembles causticum in this sphere is graphitis and selenium. Both this remedy you should remember when there is a hoarseness and you should know how to differentiate between them. Even carbovetch can confuse you a lot when there is a hoarseness, but carbovetch is a wet weather remedy, not a winter remedy like causticum. So anything damp, damp pair, rainy season is for carbovetch. Carbovetch is worse evening, whereas causticum is worse dry cold weather. And dry cold weather you will see during winters in Bombay. I use a lot of causticum when winter comes in the city of Bombay. But our Bombay winter is not so cold, but we do have some 10-15 days of really low temperatures where we can think of causticum. Another very important remedy that resembles causticum in the hoarseness for the morning is Euphetorium perforatum. But Euphetorium has got lots of rawness and soreness in the throat, larynx and trachea. So you will see majority of the bulk of symptoms of causticum are worse in the morning. But there are some symptoms worse in the night. Now this is a differential modality, the rheumatism. All rheumatic problem becomes aggravated in the night. The pain, the stiffness and especially the part that is laid on the bed. That is the aggravating factor. The maximum weakness in the rheumatism is in the ankles. Like sulfuric acid, like silicia. Mark weakness of the ankles. Another very important thing is the dancing leg syndrome. The leg dances in the night when the causticum patient goes to sleep. That's why I said restless leg syndrome. And the man who is responsible to give this symptom as a gift to the profession is Dr. Jar. I recommend every young student to read this book by Dr. Jar, my 40 years of experience in homeopathy. I repeat my 40 years of experience in homeopathy. Everybody should read the notes. Now let us see what else do I see of causticum in my practice. When I examine the mouth, there is post nasal catharrh. When I examine the nose, there is a chronic obstruction. And all these things will disappear as soon as the monsoon starts. A homeopathic physician who gives causticum during monsoon weather to his sick people has not read causticum from Hanuman. Causticum people never fall sick so easily in monsoon. They may, but not so easily. Most of the symptoms of respiratory tract are worse when they are heated in the bed at night. So when there is a cold night in winter, they get severe aggravation. But as soon as the rain falls, everything is better. Cough in causticum usually disappears during the daytime, but it starts becoming worse in the night. Why? The warmth of bed. And when they expectorate, it is like a soap suds, like a foam, very difficult to bring out. When you examine the teeth, the dental examination, the teeth are extremely loose and the molars are chiefly affected. Causticum is no doubt a right sided remedy, so right side of the teeth will be affected, but even the left side is not very far for causticum. There are many symptoms in causticum which are also left sided affected. There is a pain in the bones of the face over here hmm? when they are exposed to the cold winds and then immediately they develop sinusitis. So that's one more thing that you should remember. The temporomandibular joint arthritis is very characteristic with cold wind 
cold draft but it is always on the left side more common than the right side craving for cold drinks huh cold water causticum loves cold water cold drinks like phosphorus this is where you will confuse but the characteristic their asthma their asthmatic bronchitis tendency to catch cold is all better in monsoon totally opposite to medorinum and natrum sulf hemorrhoids i let me tell you something very interesting fact about the hemorrhoids hemorrhoids is worst when they have developed anxiety anxiety for examination anxiety for interview see the way we have got nervous diarrhea in homeopathy we have got nervous hemorrhoids and that is causticum in orthopedic cases most important is subacute and chronic tendinitis where there is a stiffness and there is contraction now again this kind of tendinitis is worse in winters the rheumatic complaints are always worse in the open air but they are always better by heat in the bed now here you see the contrast in cough becomes worse the respiratory system becomes worse by the heat of the bed the rheumatic symptoms are better rheumatic symptoms are better by warm rheumatic symptoms are worse by dry cold wind dry cold air rheumatic symptoms are worse in the winter exactly resembling calcarea fos uric acid levels are pretty high calcification will be there in the tendons calcification will be there in the aponeurosis so spurs very difficult to get up from the chair for causticum person because the back becomes very stiff especially the lower back muscles are affected in sportsmen you play any sports you exert a particular muscle and then there is a sprain or a strain cricketer tennis player badminton golf developing different kinds of strains and sprains affecting the ligament causticum and finally wasting of the muscle wasting of the ligament so to begin with there is a stiffness later on contraction and then atrophy so that's very important for sportsmen people who have developed fracture and the hand remains in the cast for a very long time and then they develop contraction of the tendon stiffness of the muscle stiffness of the fingers stiffness of the affected part that was on the cast for 6 weeks 7 weeks 8 weeks think of causticum sprain sprain from misstep the roads in bombay are extremely extremely irregular so many people fall down so many people develop sprains best remedy if it occurs on the left side is causticum not the right side any long term complication of burns think of causticum then comes a very important part of causticum which you may not know and that is genital herpes developing herpes in the prepuce and on the nates severe burning and extreme sensitivity sensitivity to touch sensitivity to garments undergarments and then a corrosive acrid liquid that comes out from the genitals causticum is a beautiful remedy for that especially after excessive sexual indulgence so here is some of the clinical tips that i have seen in my 39 years of practice and i have used causticum in different potencies and it has always helped me from very low potency to a very high potency to the lm scale mostly potency does not matter if the symptom selection is correct thank you so much